Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, welcome back. It's been a while since I did a video um, up here in Oregon area. Had to deal with fires and smoke and whatnot, so got uh, stuck inside for a little bit. Anyways, back at it. Today I'm doing a pork shoulder using John Henry's pecan rub and also for the first time using John Henry's lump charcoal. Um, I just put out a video, or going to be putting out a video with that very shortly, just what's in the bag. Uh, so I did that. So today will be my first use of the John Henry's charcoal and to go with it. Just going to pair it with the pecan rub. Uh, I think it's going to turn out awesome. So stay tuned and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Uh, just to give you a quick summary, going to show you how I have the uh, charcoal basket set up in the pit barrel, how I'm going to season the shoulder. It's a boneless eight pounder. Um, prefer to have the bone in, but that's all they had today. So uh, it is what it is. Nothing wrong with the boneless one. Um, so stay tuned, we'll be right back. All right, what's up, back at it. So I got the pit barrel set up, wanted to show you how I did the uh, charcoal basket. So filled it up with the uh, John Henry's lump and I have, let's see, what did I put in there? Apple and hickory chunks. Kind of mixed it in evenly, top and bottom, best I could. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is just take out a few of these pieces of wood that I put in from the basket, put it in my chimney, get those going and then I will dump it uh, back into the basket and get it in the pit barrel, let it come up to temp and I'll get the uh, shoulder seasoned and we'll get this thing going. Got the John Henry's heating up in the uh, chimney. Just observation wise, it does put off a lot of sparks, it crackles. Uh, so, but it's heating up quick, that's for sure. So just want to point that out. There you go, there was one. All right. All right, let's get this on. Try to give you the best uh, point of view perspective I can for that. Now, just going to kind of spread it out a little bit. My trusty poking stick. All right, that heated up fast. That's for sure. No smoke coming off of it. Interesting. Good thing I got plenty of hardwood in there. All right, so that's that. I'm gonna put the lid on, let it come up to temp. Uh, default, usually this thing come, runs at about 275, uh, depending on how much and how hot, how many wet coals you put in there, you know, that's gonna really determine your temperature. So I'm gonna try to do this one at about 300. Um, so that being said, I'm gonna go season the shoulder now and we'll be right back. All right, let's do this. Eight pound shoulder, boneless. Locally grown. They did, uh, I did have them twine it up for me. They asked if I wanted it just all loose and whatnot. I said, nah, let's tighten it up. So that's what we got. So here we go. Uh, so new, I didn't even take off the label for the, there we go. This is going to go good, I think, with the pecan, with the oak and hickory wood, lump wood, and then the apple hickory chunks I have in there. I think it's going to pair real well. Hmm, smells good. A little sweet, a little nutty, of course. Pecan, pecan. I'm gonna try to get this as uh, heavily coated as I can. All right, that's, that looks good. So I'm gonna let this sweat for a little bit and then I'm gonna reapply another coat. Let the first coat work as a binder to the second after it's sweated. So that being said, We'll be back in a few minutes. We'll put that coat on right before we put it on the pit barrel. And we'll be right back. For those of you who are not familiar with the pit barrel, it's a 30 gallon drum. Man, I love this thing. It's a game changer for me. It's my first barrel cooker. Um, and it's just a lot of fun. Hanging ribs, hanging meats off the hooks that come on the rebarb. Uh, for those that aren't familiar with it, I'll just give you a quick rundown. Uh, 30 barrel drum. Anyways, uh, these rebarbs work as the dampers, these holes here, whether you're hanging the hooks on them or not. Uh, you put these in, 
just like so and they control the airflow and that's what keeps it at approximately 275 degrees as a damper on the bottom on the other side that's set by the factory according to your altitude so you don't really mess with that one at all um, so anyways I'm gonna take these out actually I'm gonna take them in let it come up to temp now and we'll be back this pit barrel is great you know to set it and forget it um, I'll put the meat on there and I won't have to check back for hours and I've let this thing run overnight before I've gotten 15 16 hour cooks off a single basket so uh, it's very efficient it's great in all weather uh, especially winter time up here in the northwest um, and it weighs enough you have about the cooker we'll be back all right barrels up the temp I can tell by uh, putting my hand against the side that it's ready to go so I'm gonna take out one of the rebarbs to make room for me to put the shoulder in and I'll put that back on when we're done and I went ahead and reapplied a second coat to it there we go I'm doing it capside down because this, this is direct even though it's there's no flame and whatnot uh, the fat cap will help protect the meat so anyways let me get you in for a closer look real quick okay so here we go get that rebarb on there yeah that's close I'm just gonna move you over a little bit there so that's what it looks like you got the grill grate right there the basket directly beneath it got some uh, good smoke rolling right now that apple and hickory is definitely uh definitely smelling good so i'm excited about this uh we'll check on it and we'll cover i come back in about three hours all right cool see you then what's up guys all right two and a half hour mark let's take a first look drum roll Ooh, look at that let me see we just get the good lighting here for you man that's got really good color look at that man wow impressive sun's hitting it but yeah man that's looking that's looking real good for two and a half two hours 20 minutes approximately all right cool i'm gonna close this back up we'll come back in another two or three hours or so and see how it is four hour mark let's take a look uh that speaks for itself a little close up there look at that bark developing already nice color got the con and the smoke in the air smells good it's just all coming together yeah nice all right well i don't know what i'm going to do with this i'm probably going to either uh wrap it in butcher paper to finish it off once it gets in the stall uh just to help preserve the bark and uh let it continue to develop but we'll see time will tell or i might not wrap it at all but uh anyways we'll check back in another couple hours all right we are about the seven hour mark let's see i'm gonna take probe temp gonna probe for temp see how we're doing uh, 147 142, 143, 153. So we're probably not at the stall yet. Let me get you in for a closer look. And we'll cover it back up. Hang on. Okay, closer look at the seven hour mark. About 145 degrees approximately. There. There we go. Look at that. Uh, all right. So seven hours. We'll be back in another couple hours or so. All right. About the nine hour mark approximately. One thing I did since last time is uh, took both rebarbs out. To help uh, bring up the temperature a little bit. 167, 164... 165 so definitely in the stall now i'm gonna get you in for a closer look because it's looking good and then i'm gonna wrap it in foil um i'm gonna go that route just because i want to hurry up and speed the process up and foil will do that whereas butcher paper will not 
that's how we're looking now. Pretty fine, don't you say? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get some foil and I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, this is smelling so freaking good. Mm. Got a little gander at that. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. I'm excited, oh geez. That smells good. Hear my lights dying. Let me turn that down. Alright. So, cap tight is still down. Down. There we go. Ooh, this is gonna be so good. Alright, so we're in the stall, it's about 165, 170-ish, just under that. That's gonna really speed up the process. So uh, I'll come back in about one hour from now and I think it'll be done. So we'll see. All right, just probed it. It's probing 205, 206. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off now. Next steps are to let it rest for about an hour. Um, I'll leave it in the foil, put it in, in a towel, let it rest for an hour and uh, open it up after that, bring it back for the pulling. All right, folks, this is what we've all been waiting for. It's been resting for just over an hour now. Had it on the uh, pit barrel for 10 hours on the dot. So it's very late. I'm tired, but I can't wait to dive into this. It, it smells so good. So I'm going to open it up now and see how we did. And we get you in for a closer look for that. Okay, let's do this. out of here. Mm. Man, see that? Look at that. Smoke ring all the way through. Let's, let's try it out. Here we go. Moment of truth. Got good bark on it right there so far. So let's have a little trap bite. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> that is so good. Oh my lord, that the pecan rub with mixed with the oak and hickory wood and the apple wood. Oh my lord. This is just that flavor, man. I did not expect it to be that good. No offense, uh look at that. John Henry. But man, you did yourself. And that wood, that charcoal, that John Henry's lump. Man. Look at how easy that just comes apart. Mm. Nice color there. Nice bark. Excellent bark. I have another bite. Look at that. Excellent, excellent smoke ring. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let me get this pulled up. We'll be back for final thought. Oh, man, I'm very, very pleased with this turnout. Got the, just the flavor. Mm. I could have all the tri bites I want. My wife's a vegetarian, so this is just for me. <laughs> Me and the kids. Mm -mm -mm. Man, that pecan rub. I've never used it all by itself. I have used it before in other things. Usually in combination. But all by itself. Man. Perfect combination with the oak and the apple and the hickory. Very happy with the uh, Still so hot. Look at all this. The lump burnt very well. Have just under a half of that basket left. 
believe it or not. And that was a 10 hour cook too. Woo -wee. That is so hot still, oh my lord, after an hour. Just pulling off all the pieces of fat there that I don't want to eat. Mm. Best way to eat this, man, in my opinion, is just taking a pile of this, throwing it in between a hamburger bun, throwing in some good sauce on top, top of the pulled pork, in a hamburger bun, man. That's really it. Or bread. But this is not a bad sight here, if I do say so myself. All right, guys. Enough yip yap. I'm gonna pack this up. Call this a wrap. I'll be back at you in a minute. Oh, all right, what's up? Well, man, that came out better than I expected, so I'm so stoked on that. Thanks everybody for watching. Um, just to summarize what I did again, that was a 10 hour uh, boneless eight pound pork shoulder. Cooked at approximately 275 degrees for the first eight and a half hours or so. Then bumped it up to about 300, 325 after that. Then let it rest it for about an hour in the foil and then pulled it. So that was 11 hour cook job total, including rest time. But man, the John Henry's rub, the John Henry's lump coal, the apple, the hickory, the oak, perfect combination, the pecan rub. I mean, man, it's a perfect combination. So if you guys want to have a really, really good pork shoulder, just go ahead and do that. Get that John Henry's pecan rub. Um, that'll be excellent on ribs. I'm, I'm stoked. I've had that rub for a couple years now, at least. You know, I've used it over and over, like I said before, just in combination with other rubs and just all by itself, standalone. It's, it's, it's a winner. So, um... Appreciate you guys watching. Thanks again. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave your questions, comments below, and uh, see you again soon. Cool. Oh yeah, wanted to talk one more uh, one more thing about the John Henry's uh, lump coal. Um, just to summarize on that, final thought. Cooked well. Um, did not put off any smoke that I saw. Like when it was heating up, there was no smoke coming off of it. And I've experienced the same issue with Fogo lump. You know, burns great, it's a great lump, um, but it doesn't put off much smoke. So I had plenty of oak and apple chunks in there, so that, you know, compensated for it, but that's one thing I noticed. Uh, not much smoke coming off of it when it's by itself. Um, it does spark a lot when it's when it's uh, heating up. Uh, crackles and all that, uh, sparks. Um, but yeah, so it is what it is. I'm happy with it, you know, I have probably just under half of that charcoal basket left believe after 10 hours believe it or not so it lasts a long time that 20 pound bag will definitely last me a while so I'm stoked with it man so if I see it again I'll buy it you know it's good stuff um you know it's just oak and hickory I think that's what it said yeah uh so you know nothing extraordinary about it but uh Burnt well, and I'm happy with it. So that's my that's my piece on that. So cool. All right, so here's a closer look at the bag. Uh, hardwood lump charcoal. It's 20 pounds oak and hickory. Um, I paid 25 dollars for this at the store. So hopefully it's good. If it's anything like the rubs, I'm sure this is going to be an awesome complement to it. So uh, let's open it up.